from your news leader. It's Tuesday morning and fire rips through a Fairview home, displacing two people. We'll take you to that scene. This is new on Jet 24. Plus, 15 years ago, a violent and disturbing crime sent shockwaves around the world. We'll look back on the eerie pizza bomber case. And it's payday for local organizations that you donated to. Live in high definition from your news leader, this is Jet 24 Good Morning Erie. Good morning, Erie. It's Tuesday. I'm Elena LaQuatra. Thanks for joining us. Now, of course, uh, last Tuesday it was mm -hmm. Erie Gives Day, and now those organizations are getting their big paychecks today. There you go. And uh, today uh, the nonprofits, uh, well, again, getting the checks, and uh, this is what it's all about. It is, so, and uh, it's so a record-setting year this mm -hmm. year. I think uh, about $4.5 million. Yeah, some so. good stuff there. And now uh, the nonprofits will reap the rewards of your generosity. They mm -hmm. sure will, and we'll have that coverage coming up moment. We are beginning with a story that is new this morning. Fire forces two people out of their Fairview home overnight. First responders were called to the 1500 block of Manchester Road late Monday after reports of a fire and explosions. When fire crews arrived, they were met with fire coming from the garage and extending up to the second floor. Multiple cars were also on fire. The vehicles in the garage, there's three in the garage, one outside. They're pretty well fully involved when we got there, so any danger that they would have presented were already mitigated because they were pretty well involved. The fire was brought under control around midnight, and the house sustained serious damage. There's no word on what may have sparked that fire. Fortunately, no injuries to report. The Red Cross was called to help two adults who were living in the home. A burning transformer sparks a dramatic scene in one eerie neighborhood, and it's all caught on camera. Firefighters were called to West 32nd Street and Pittsburgh Avenue around 8.20 last night. While on scene, this transformer on fire explodes in a massive fireball. According to Erie County 911, the original call indicated arching arcing power lines attached to a house. It was first called in as a structure fire, but then there was no fire inside any nearby buildings. A sketch of Pittsburgh, stretch of Pittsburgh Avenue was closed to traffic, but has since been reopened. There are no injuries reported. Fifteen years ago today, a pizza delivery man, Brian Wells, was killed in a bizarre crime. It ignited a federal investigation and gained international attention. It became no worldwide as the Erie Pizza Bomber case. It's a co complex case that the FBI spent years investigating and prosecuting. Now it's part of a Netflix original series titled Evil Genius, the true story of America's most diabolical bank heist. We'll have much more on the story later today. A man charged with murder is expected to be the subject of a hearing today. That's J.C. McGlumphy. He's accused of firing shots into a car in June of 2016. That shooting claiming the life of Isaiah Wiley. During a status hearing in June, a judge announced that a psychiatrist did not think juvenile court would be appropriate for McGlumphy. A decertification hearing is set for 845 this morning in front of Judge John Garhart. Erie police are still searching for answers after a 34-year-old woman was found stabbed in an apartment. It's continuing coverage this morning. Erie police and fire crews were called to the 1100 block of East Lake Road shortly after 9.30 Sunday morning. She was rushed to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. According to police, the woman's boyfriend had returned home and found her, but there were no signs of forced entry. Erie County Coroner Lyle Cook performed an autopsy, but says there's still uncertainty about how the woman sustained her injuries. The cause of death has been listed as uh, multiple stab wounds to the left chest. Uh, however, I am uh, still pending the, uh, the, the manner of death, uh, for the, uh, pending further investigation. The woman's name is not being released at this time. Tenants in a hotel in the same building as a possible nuisance bar says they're being unfairly blamed for some of the problems there. And here, this is the scene outside the Erie View Inn. The first ruling closed the 901 Sports Bar, then a request by the DA was granted to include the hotel as well. The tenants were given five days to move, which ended Monday. The building manager says his tenants have nowhere to go. 26 rooms. We got 12 tenants right now being evicted. We got babies, grandchildren. We got newborns thrown in the street. They don't care. This, what, what kind of city is this? 
A hearing that could close the business permanently is scheduled for October 15th. Jet 24 Action News is your local election headquarters. Two congressmen up for re-election come to Erie. They are celebrating the signing of a new law that increases federal funding for career and technical education. Joe McCormick reports. The Erie County Technical School hosting Congressman Mike Kelly and Glenn Thompson as the pair saw firsthand how the money will be put to use. We get about $300,000 from the Carl Perkins funding every year. We use it for equipment, but we also use it for instructional support. This is going to provide more opportunity for us to do more of that work. Thompson co-sponsored the bill passed unanimously in the House earlier this summer and signed by the President last month. The bill overhauls the Carl Perkins Career and Technical Education Act. This is the first major update to the program since 2006. If we're going to spend taxpayer money, let's invest it where the taxpayers get a great return on and there's a job there. That's the most important thing. These are all jobs, bills that we're talking about. This was a bipartisan effort. Senator Bob Casey co-authored the Senate version that also passed unanimously. Both sides agree the idea is to fill a void and help people obtain good paying jobs. We have a lot of jobs that are open, but we don't have people educated to take them. This is about doing something for people's careers. The puts them into things that actually make sense and they can get a job for. The new law allows states to set their own goals for career and technical education programs without the education secretary's approval. No word on when this new funding will kick in. Jill McCormick, Jet 24 Action News. Be sure to stay up to date on your local election news at yourerie.com. The Jefferson Educational Society is negotiating a tax deal. This comes after it's reported that the organization owes tens of thousands of dollars back in taxes. The Jefferson is trying to work out a pilot agreement with the city of Erie. But in order for that agreement to go through, three entities must, pro must approve it, including the city of Erie, Erie School District, and Erie County Government. So the Jefferson's a 501c3, uh, and so for tax exemption, uh, the Jefferson is looking at a way that it can still contribute to the community uh, with, without paying none of its taxes, uh, either by offering some services or a partial payment of those taxes actively. The programs and services the Jefferson offers won't be halted due to these activities, active negotiations. Let's turn to some good news now. Hundreds of Erie area organizations will reap the benefits of generosity after Erie gives a breaks a record. Nearly 8,000 people raised close to four and a half million dollars this year. That's up nearly $32,000 over last year. Donat donations came from 41 states and 10 countries. That money will be given to the nonprofits at 9 this morning. You can watch for the full story on Jet 24 Action News at noon. Now to coverage in your schools. Schools back in session for students in the city of Erie and the Erie School District is really going above and beyond to welcome their students back to the classroom. Partners at four community school sites gathered to welcome the students back and the kids were greeted with celebrity-like treatment as part of red carpet events. Local corporations were also there and doing their part to help out. We're really glad we don't have too many changes this year, a lot of stability in our schools and wonderful support of our community as we send our kids back to school this year. Erie Insurance had more than 80 employees on hand to help out with back to school efforts. And Erie Mayor Joe Schember also lending a hand in the welcome back efforts. Schember worked as a crossing guard at East 11th and German Streets. He greeted the students at Pfeiffer Burley Elementary School. We believe in our schools. You know, the, the children in these schools are the future of Erie, so I'm happy to be out here helping, at least in a symbolic way, helping the kids get to school on their first day. Mayor Schember says working as a crossing guard is a first for him. He says it's one way to show his support for the school district and the students. The time now is about 5.10 and it's an auction as epic as Disneyland. Coming up on Good Morning Erie, a California man is selling off his memorabilia and bringing in a lot of money to help kids in need. You won't believe how much some of these items went for. From your news leader, you're watching Elena LaQuatra. Meteorologist Tom DeVecchio and Craig Smiley with sports. This is Jet 24. Good morning, Erie. I'm Jason Perico for Bianchi Honda, and I say every season calls for Erie's favorite SUV. 
lease the spacious and refined 2018 Honda CRV LX all-wheel drive for only $198 a month. Yes, all-wheel drive for only $198 a month. Bianchi Honda, trusted for wherever the road takes you. This level of wow, this heightened state of car buying bliss. These feelings are not uncommon at the Honda Summer Spectacular event, where you could get a great deal on the Honda Pilot with seating for up to eight. This euphoria is only available at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. So come experience it for yourself. We see it all the time. Visit your local Honda dealer and test drive the Honda Pilot, named part of 2018's best SUV lineup in America. One of the children got themselves into trouble. There was a need for a lawyer. Divorced parents come together. I said, there's no way I'm going to be able to take 10000 I can come up with half. You can come up with the other half. But his ex... She hasn't worked in 11 years. She has no source of income. ...needs help of her own. So your parents are supporting you now? At this point, yeah. She said, I can get it from my parents. She did. No, I did not. Next, Judge Judy. Today at 4 on Jet 24... From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Checking things out on our Skycam for this morning. This is the new Motors Skycam. This one, of course, from atop of our tower there, about 300 feet up, in fact. And uh, we're looking uh, pretty good for this morning. Uh, unlike yesterday, uh, no storms expected as uh, you plan your travels. In fact, the radar is clear at this hour. And uh, the look here from our buoy data is showing that we do have uh, some uh, southwest winds right now uh, on off of Beach 2, about 15 to 20 miles an hour. Waves about 1 to 2 feet. Could be a little choppy in the lake for today, uh, despite the southwest winds. And uh, the uh, current conditions as far as the uh, flights, uh, we have no delays or cancellations at the International Airport, according to their website for this morning. Temperatures, they are warm, close to 80 degrees, in fact, here along the lakeshore, 78 in Erie, Mill Creek, Lake City, Penn State, Barron, all at 77. We're at 76 here in Summit. Even the cool spots are warm. 72 degrees right now, French Creek, Edinburgh, 73, as is Albion. Now, farther inland, we have uh, temperatures uh, uh, 73 at West Mead, 69 at Canadota Lake, Conant Lake at 72, and 65 out uh, towards Sabre. Dew points are up there in the lower 70s, but unlike yesterday, we don't have any triggers to set off uh, any strong showers and storms. The ridge here building nicely. This is a strong ridge for today, actually reaching its height. So uh, that should suppress almost all storms. A few may pop up in the afternoon, like yesterday, but for the most part, uh, we'll keep it dry, hot with uh, near record level highs in the lower 90s. Take it slow for your day. Now tomorrow, this uh, stationary front uh, will slowly drift southward. Passage uh, is a little tough, the timing here, and the time will determine just how strong the storms get, but we do look like we'll have at least a good chance of some showers and storms by the mid to late afternoon hours. On the lake, southwest winds at five to 15 knots. Waves 1 to 3 for now, 2 to 4 for the afternoon uh, with a water temp at 74. Hazy, hot, and humid for today. Temperatures near record levels in the lower 90s. Record high is 93 for the day. We could tie that, if not break it, for tomorrow. Partly sunny in the morning, then some afternoon showers and storms develop. And uh, we'll have temperatures still in the mid-80s. Cooler hit for Thursday and Friday. But we're back into the 80s for the upcoming weekend. Get the latest update to that forecast anytime. Head to our website, yourerie.com. Now, Tom, time for your favorite part of the morning. That's we're, right. We're making him trivia think. Trivia for you. <laughs> we're making him think before he's had his coffee. I had There's coffee. There's just water already. in these cups, yeah, by honest, the way. Yeah, there is. Unless Did we fool you work. all these years? <laughs> Just water in there. All right, here's your question today. Our producer Ryan came up with this one. In Gene Rodenberry's original pitch for Star Trek, what is the name of the starship? A. 
Reliant, B, Enterprise, C, Plymouth, or D, Yorktown? Only Ryan could pick this. Um, I mean, he and I are both big Star Trek fans, but that one is a reach. Wow, I'm going to have to um, I'm gonna have to think of that one. Yeah, it's going to be tough for you. Is it a trick question again? We'll it may be. We'll figure it out. I have no idea. Okay. I just read the answer off the screen. <laughs> All right, now it seems people are stepping up their retirement savings in record numbers, and that's very good news. Mary Maloney has a closer look in today's Consumer Watch. Are you adding more money into your retirement account? If the answer is yes, you're part of the trend. According to a new bank rate survey, more people are saving more this year than in 2017. In fact, this is the highest rate of increased retirement savings in the survey's history. 28% of employed Americans who were surveyed say they're saving more now than last year. Older millennials ages 28 to 37 are saving the most for retirement. 39% of them reported they're making this a priority. Bankrate recommends saving at least 10% of your income for retirement. They say stagnant wages is the main reason people struggle to save. Financial experts say there are ways to overcome those income-related challenges and still find a way to save for the future. Number one, live a more modest life. This means re-examining your living expenses and how you can lower your bills. Number two, get a side hustle. If you've downsized and your primary job still won't pay you enough to save, it's time to get a second gig. Number three, fight for a raise. If your wages have not gone up in years, then you should ask for more money. According to the job site Career Builder, 56% of employees have never requested a raise. Among those who did ask, 66% of them were successful. For Consumer Watch, I'm Mary Maloney. Time now for another Social 24. Today, a very tall beverage and a big auction brings in big money for a very good cause. Plus, Starbucks' version of the pumpkin spice latte makes its return today. Starbucks' first PSL was made in 2003 at the company's headquarters in Seattle. That's right, it's the drink's 15th birthday. A 16-ounce latte is $4.95 to $5.45, depending on the market, where you live. And it contains 380 calories, but you don't need to know that. Oh, 14 grams of fat, 50 grams of sugar. Keep going. Irrelevant. <laughs> keep Irrelevant. Going, keep going. <laughs> According to Starbucks. So, you know, it's, it's, they, whatever. Who cares? They're delicious. Yeah, yeah, just have a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> just don't have it every day. Well, the big vats from Disneyland Auction in Los Angeles had Disney fans singing and reaching for their checkbooks. This animatronic bird, whoa, sold for 425,000, for a bird, 425,000, wow. get me the Disney man, <laughs> and the Dumbo vehicle went for 483,000, who is and this kind of money, original haunted mansion stretching portrait brought 402,000, wow. wow, that's 1.3 right there, and the Skyway bucket car sold for $621,000, a record for Disneyland ride vehicle, in all, Richard Kraft's collection brought in more than 8.3 Three oh million gosh. dollars. Part of the proceeds will go to groups that help children with special needs. Wow. Well, that's good. Oh my that's gosh, phenomenal. going to a wonderful cause, but it yeah. has me thinking what can I start collecting now that in 20, yeah, 30 what, years will right. be profitable? What will people like? Yeah. Uh, I'm get me one of those floating cars. Yes. Wow, so cool. And uh, you may know it as a simple rum and coke, but an event in Cuba celebrates the cocktail in a big way. Dozens of bartenders from the Americas gathered in Havana to create a giant Cuba Libre. The giant drink making event starts the 22nd Pan American Cocktail Championship and pays homage to one of the most famous drinks in the world. Bartenders from Cuba as well as those from other countries assisted in the making of the cocktail. Oh my gosh. Wow. That There's an event for everything, Get you Tom. drunk just looking at it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now, what did they do with it afterwards? That's I mean, what I'm thinking. I'm, they, drink it? Somebody drank it. You don't just throw that down the drain. You don't just throw that you much rum that in that it. It'll be interesting. <laughs> Wonder what they did. Very cool. Time now to show you the results of our daily YourEerie.com poll question. We asked, what's your favorite hot dog topping? Here are the results. 40% said the traditional ketchup or mustard and or mustard. 20% said chili or Greek sauce. 
20% say, give me the works, and 12% said, onions or relish. Great mm -hmm. sauce. That's mm -hmm. totally an eerie thing. Do oh, you know big that? time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, being Greek, Greek sauce is not a Greek thing. That's yeah. an eerie thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, even the Italian food, some of them will look here and like, you know, you wouldn't find that in Italy. No. <laughs> you wouldn't find that in Italy. But hey, it's good stuff here, and we love it. Time right now is 520. The current temperature is a humid 79. We'll be right back. Psoriatic arthritis tries to get in my way. Watch me. I've tried lots of things for my joint pain. Now, watch me. Think I'd give up showing these guys how it's done? Please. Real people with active psoriatic arthritis are changing the way they fight it. They're moving forward with Cosentis. It's a different kind of targeted biologic. It's proven to help people find less joint pain and clearer skin. Don't use if you are allergic to Cosentix. Before starting Cosentix, you should be checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections and lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms of an infection, or if you have received a vaccine or plan to. If you have inflammatory bowel disease, tell your doctor if symptoms develop or worsen. Serious allergic reactions may occur. With less joint pain, watch me. For less joint pain and clearer skin, ask your rheumatologist about Cosentix. Just when you thought the great New York State Fair couldn't get any greater, we're back again with even greater thrills. Great big animals, live concerts from the greatest bands, and tons of great food. And this year, we've added the brand new Expo Center with great attractions like free public ice skating with admission. Don't miss out on all the great fun from August 22nd to September 3rd in Syracuse, New York. Get your tickets to the Great New York State Fair at iloveny.com. So we're going to be talking about cars today. Cool. If you were building the perfect car, which three features here would you choose? I want a reliable car. Safety. Got to think about the babies. Fuel efficiency. All in one car, right? Could you do that? Actually, you can. Whoa. Whoa. This is the Chevy Malibu. Wow. That's nice. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this. Chevy Malibu for around $199 a month. Or get $1,750 cash allowance on most Malibu models when you purchase. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Check these out at the top of the Renaissance Center. We're looking at some dry conditions along State Street as we start out the day here. Uh, weather in pretty good shape. Unlike yesterday, remember all those storms coming our way. Uh, not seeing that forward today, but oh, is it hot out there. Uh, temperature almost 80 in downtown Erie now. Okay, the normal high is 81, <laughs> so uh, we could be hitting some record levels for it today. 76 in Summit, uh, Larry Lake City has 77. We have 70 in Linesville, 72 at Connie Lake, 69 out toward Canadota Lake, and 65 in Saybrook. So uh, it's mild to muggy all the way around here. Dew points again in the lower 70s. We don't have a trigger, though, to set off any showers and storms for today. We have a ridge that's just too strong right now. And um, latest on our future cast, high pressure ridge staying in control. Showers and storms staying to the north of us for the day. And then as this cold front approaches here, uh, we're going to have the possibility of some showers and storms as the ridge breaks down for tomorrow. Passage of the front, a uh, bit of a question mark. Right now it looks like uh, early to mid-afternoon, which would lessen the threat of severe. But uh, even so, we could have some really good downpours as that front moves away. High pressure builds in behind it, gives us cooler and drier air for the end of the week. Out in the lake went southwest 5 to 15 knots, weighs 1 to 3 for now, 2 to 4 for the afternoon as uh, water temperature holds at 74. Hazy, hot, and humid for today, record high near 93. We could get close to that uh, for today with that sunshine, the hazy sunshine and from your weather authority. Uh, partly sunny tomorrow morning, then uh, some showers and storms develop during the afternoon. Even if they don't get severe, we're going to have some good downpours with some of these before it cools off for Thursday and into the day on Friday. Woo, it is a scorcher out there. Thank you, Tom. Now, starting in October of 2020, if you want to board a domestic flight or enter certain federal buildings, you will need a passport, military ID, or a real ID. Real ID won't be available in Pennsylvania until March, but PennDOT says start preparing now. Matt Heckel explains. 
Well, PennDOT has an online pre-verification process already set up for them to check to see if they have the documents they need from you already on file. That is the case for 35% of customers. But if you got your first driver's license or ID card before September of 2003, you'll need to bring proof of identity, address, and social security number to a driver's license center starting next month. Then in March, you can opt into the Real ID program. That's when you'll be able to order a Real ID online, paying a one-time $30 fee on top of a $30.50 renewal fee. Now, you won't have to go into a driver's license center as the ID will be mailed directly to you with an expiration date of four years plus whatever time you have left on your current license. Now, not everyone needs a Real ID. They'll be needed at airports and federal buildings starting in 2020 to help increase Increase national security. PennDOT expects only about 25% of people to get one. We understand that Real ID can seem confusing, which is why we are working hard to communicate with our customers so that they understand whether the Real ID is right for them and what they need to do to prepare. And PennDOT is retrofitting six driver's license centers and building five new ones to allow relay IDs to be obtained over the counter. In Harrisburg, Matt Heckel, Jet 24 Action News. Today's poll question is, what are your thoughts on the Real ID for Pennsylvania residents? That question will be posted all day long. Log on to YourErie.com and vote, then tune in tomorrow to see how your answer compares with everyone else. Another fair kicks off, this time right here in Erie County. The Erie County Fair taking place at the Wattsburg Fairgrounds all week long. The fair providing food, rides, dozens of activities for the whole family to enjoy. Erie County Fair President saying the fair is growing this year with even more vendors. We we'll just need people to support them, you know, because that's what they come for. And that helps them, it helps us, and helps them, everybody, you know. The fair runs through Saturday, so be sure you head down and check it out. And we'll be right back with a look at today's Tech Fights. In today's Tech Bites, Uber picking up some help for its plan to add self-driving cars to its fleet. The company is teaming up with Toyota in a $500 million deal. Uber scaled back its work on self-driving cars after one of its cars hit and killed an Arizona woman in March. Toyota now joins Volvo and Daimler in working with Uber on self-driving cars. Well, we'll likely get our first look at Google's newest phones. Bloomberg reports the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL will be unveiled on October 9th. And ugly shoes apparently are a big trend on the web. Are they, though? According to Google Trends, searches for dad sneakers and dad shoes have jumped more than 600% this summer. Pinterest says it's up 730% since January. But they also come with a bloated price tag. A lot of them over $1,000. But designer ones. Those are your tech bites. Tech Bites. Sponsored by Eloquis. I've always looked forward to what's next, and I'm still going for my best, even though I live with a higher risk of stroke due to AFib, not caused by a heart valve problem. So if there's a better treatment than warfarin, I'm up for that. Eloquis. Eloquis has proven to reduce stroke risk better than warfarin, plus has significantly less major bleeding than warfarin. Eloquis is FDA approved and has both. So what's next? See these guys. Don't stop taking Eliquis unless your doctor tells you to, as stopping increases your risk of having a stroke. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. While taking Eliquis, you may bruise more easily, and it may take longer than usual for any bleeding to stop. Seek immediate medical care for sudden signs of bleeding, like unusual bruising. Eliquis may increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Eliquis, the number one cardiologist prescribed blood thinner. Ask your doctor if Eliquis is what's next for you. Get ready for the best deals of the year during the Super Labor Day sale at Denver Mattress. The Queen Size Summit is just $179.99. Or upgrade to a free adjustable base when you purchase select Tempur-Pedic mattress sets. And choose free Bose noise masking earbuds, a free $300 furniture row gift certificate, or a free 50-inch LED TV with any qualifying purchase. Plus, seven years, no interest. Save big during the Super Labor Day sale only at Denver Mattress. Hurry, sale ends Monday. Watch the Powerball drawing every Wednesday and Saturday night at 1120 during Action News. 
got some new blood in some pushing the expiration date. Gotta work twice as fast, three times as hard. Because you're old as hell. Nathan Fillion is The Rookie. Premieres Tuesday, October 16th on ABC. From Jet 24, your weather authority. This is your forecast first. It's 5.30. Good morning to you. And it is a Tuesday. It's a muggy one, but at least it's dry out there. Looking good in downtown area right now, but it's definitely shorts and t-shirt weather. It's already 79 hot degrees. That's the low for the day so far. Dew point is at 71. Your forecast first is calling for a hazy, hot, and humid for today. Temperatures near record levels in the lower 90s as we head into the afternoon. And the rest the forecast coming up after morning headlines. Good morning, Erie. Starts now. From your news leader. It's Tuesday morning and a fiery explosion is caught on camera as firefighters work to contain the blaze. Plus, the 15th anniversary of a shocking crime arrives but is still sending shockwaves around the world. And it was a big day for students in the Erie School District. Live in high definition from your news leader, this is Jet 24 Good Morning Erie. Good morning, Erie. It's Tuesday. I'm Elena LaQuatra. Thanks for joining us now. Students in the Erie School District back in the classroom as of yesterday, and they did get quite a big welcome. They did, absolutely. Uh, schools across Erie County, the region, um, all will be returning uh, at some point later this week. Yeah, they're all clapping. I remember when I, when I was in kindergarten, <laughs> I just walked to this big, dark school, and I remember looking dark. up going, whoa! You wow. quite an imagination. Oh, it was, uh, well, I, I mean, I went to an old school even back when I was old. Okay. When they I didn't was have young. lights? When I was, yeah, they had lights, yeah. The, <laughs> yeah, the lantern smell was kind of, yeah, the gas smell was a little tough there with the lanterns. But, uh, yeah, but it's nice that they allowed them to come in, give them a hand, give them a nice start. Uh, yeah, and Mayor Schember was their crossing guard. At 11, <laughs> yeah, Mayor did, yeah, showing us some good crossing guard skills there. The man is multi-talented. You gotta love he him. He truly is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have video of our Mr. Mayor uh, serving as a crossing guard, but first we are turning to a story that's new this morning, fire rips through a Fairview home and causes quite a bit of destruction. First responders were called to the 1500 block of Manchester Road late Monday after reports of a fire and explosion. When fire crews arrived, they were met with fire coming from the garage and extending up to the second floor. Multiple cars were also on fire. The vehicles in the garage, there's three in the garage, one outside. They're pretty well fully involved when we got there, so any danger that they would have presented were already mitigated because they were pretty well involved. The house sustained serious damage. No injuries are reported. The Red Cross was called to help two adults who lived in the home. In the meantime, a dramatic scene as an explosion is caught on camera. Oh, Firefighters were called to West 32nd Street and Pittsburgh Avenue around 8.20 last night. While on scene, this transformer on fire explodes in a massive fireball. According to Erie County 911, the original call indicated arcing power lines attached to a house. It was first called in as a structure fire, but there was no fire inside any nearby buildings. A stretch of Pittsburgh Avenue was close to traffic, but has since reopened and no injuries reported. Fifteen years ago, the Erie region was rattled by a disturbing crime. That crime went on to shock the entire world. It became known worldwide as the Erie Pizza Bomber case. It's a complex case that the FBI spent years investigating and prosecuting. Now it's part of a Netflix original series titled Evil Genius, the true story of America's most diabolical bank heist. I'm sure many of you watched it. We'll have much more on this story later today. A man accused of killing another man in a violent attack is scheduled to appear in Erie County Court. J.C. McGlumphy is accused of firing shots into a car in June of 2016. That shooting claimed the life of Isaiah Wiley. During a status hearing in June, the judge announced a psychiatrist did not think juvenile court would be appropriate for McGlumphy. A decertification hearing is set for 845 this morning in front of Judge John Garhart. A 34-year-old woman is found stabbed in an Erie apartment, and police are still looking for answers. This is continuing coverage this morning. Erie police and fire crews were called to the 1100 block of East Lake Road shortly after 9.30 Sunday morning. She was rushed to the hospital and later pronounced dead. According to police, the woman's boyfriend had returned home and found her, but there were no signs of forced entry. 
Erie County Coroner Lyle Cook performed an autopsy, but says there's still uncertainty about how the woman sustained her injuries. The cause of death has been listed as uh, multiple stab wounds to the left chest. Uh, however, I am uh, still pending the, uh, the, the manner of death, uh, for the, uh, pending further investigation. The woman's name is not being released at this time. Tenants in an eerie hotel are forced to move out. That hotel is attached to a possible nuisance bar. And this was the scene outside of the Erie View Inn. The first ruling closed the 901 sports bar. Then a request by the DA was granted to include the hotel as well. The tenants were given five days to move, which ended on Monday. The building manager says his tenants have nowhere to go. 26 rooms. We got 12 tenants right now being evicted. We got babies, grandchildren. We got newborns thrown in the street. They don't care. This, what, what kind of city is this? A hearing that could close the business permanently is scheduled for October 15th. The Jefferson Educational Society is hoping ongoing negotiations will end the court battle over their tax status. The organization reportedly owes tens of thousands of dollars back in taxes. The Jefferson is trying to work out a pilot agreement with the city of Erie, but in order for that agreement to go through, three entities must approve it, including the city of Erie, Erie School District, and Erie County Government. So the Jefferson's a 501c3, uh, and so for tax exemption, uh, the Jefferson is looking at a way that it can still contribute to the community uh, with, without paying none of its taxes, uh, either by offering some services or a partial payment of those taxes actively. The programs and services the Jefferson offers won't be halted due to these ongoing nego negotiations. And let's turn to some good news now. Hundreds of organizations will be awarded some big checks this morning, and it's all because of your giving on Erie Gives Day. Nearly 8,000 people raised close to $4.5 million this year. That's up nearly $32,000 over last year. Donations came from 41 states and 10 different countries. That money will be given to nonprofits at 9 o'clock this morning. You can watch for the full story on Jet24 Action News at noon. Now to coverage in your school's classes in session for students in the city of Erie. Jackie Roberts shows us how school officials are kicking off the new year with help from the community. It's certainly no average day for students at Erie's public schools. They're starting the school year off like royalty. With special appearances from the mascots for the Erie Seawolves and the Erie Otters, and even some local universities. It's all in an effort to make sure students start the year on a positive note. We're really glad we don't have too many changes this year, a lot of stability in our schools, and wonderful support of our community as we send our kids back to school this year. In Erie, encouraging and motivating students isn't just up to the schools. Several local businesses are also spreading some cheer on the first day. Erie Insurance, a uh, big part of what we do every year is to serve our community. Wallace Oakley says Erie Insurance has a 30-year history with Piper Burley Elementary School. More than 85 employees from the corporation donated their time to help out with the district's red carpet events. We absolutely enjoy welcoming the students to come back to school. We realize that education is key, education is important. Coordinators say getting a good start can help the district reach its long-term goals. Huge focus on academics. We need kids to be in school this year and we're really increasing our attention and rigor making sure all kids are ready uh, to read by grade level and graduate on time. And a proper send-off sets the tone for a productive school year. Jackie Roberts, Jet 24 Action News. And Erie Mayor Joe Schember also lending a hand in welcoming students back. Here he is working as a crossing guard at East 11th and German Streets. He greeted the students at Pfeiffer Burley Elementary School. Uh, I believe in our schools. You know, the, the children in these schools are the future of Erie, so I'm happy to be out here helping, at least in a symbolic way, helping the kids get to school on their first day. Mayor Schember says working as a crossing guard is a first for him. He says it's one way to show his support for the school district and the students. It was a weekend of medical treatment for a group of dogs rescued from the Pittsburgh area puppy mill on Friday. Nearly 100 dogs were sent to shelters, including 30 to the Anna shelter in Erie. These dogs are German short-haired pointers that have injuries from being in confined spaces. The search is on for people familiar with the breed who understand it will take a little time for these dogs to learn how to be dogs. 
Some of them had never even been outside or out of their kennels. So they, they need to learn a lot of that stuff. But it, it does happen quickly, but we do need people with patience. Um, it's not going to happen overnight. Six animal groups were asked to help after state troopers served a warrant on the Washington County operation. Gas prices are remaining steady, which is good news ahead of the Labor Day holiday. The national average is still hovering around 282 per gallon. That's according to GasBuddy.com. As expected, gas prices are going to go up as we get closer to Labor Day, but GasBuddy says it will only be a modest increase. All right, well, that's good to hear. Time now is 5:40. Is your selfie hurting you? Coming up on Good Morning Erie, you see them everywhere, but each time you snap a picture, you could be damaging your self-image. We'll take a closer look. From your news leader, you're watching Elena LaQuatra, meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, and Craig Smiley with sports. This is Jet 24. Good morning, Erie. What's the best-selling SUV in America? It's the Nissan Rogue. Right now, get $5,000 off its MSRP. The Rogue has standard features such as zero-gravity seats, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and rear cross-traffic alert. The 2018 Rogue and Rogue Sport are also available at 0% financing for 60 months. Stop in and meet the Rogue family at Interstate Nissan, 1.5 miles south of I-90 on Peach Street. Welcome. So what do you look for in a vehicle? Dependability is top on my list. Well, then here's some vehicles that deliver on that. That's our truck. There are cars. Chevy is the only brand to have earned J.D. Power Dependability Awards across cars, trucks, and SUVs three years in a row. Get 15% below MSRP on most Equinox models when you purchase and finance with GM Financial. Or current qualified competitive lessees can lease this Chevy Equinox for around $199 a month. 50 years ago, my family started Value Home Centers in Buffalo, New York to help local homeowners one project at a time. 30 years ago, that mission brought value to Erie. 10 years ago, we came to Syracuse. A month ago, we launched Best Rewards to say thanks. A week ago, we closed on our house. Value Home Centers, celebrating 50 years of DIY, one project at a time. Log on to YourEerie.com every weekday to tell us what you think and then see the results on the web and Good Morning Erie the next morning. Brought to you by Superstore Joe at Auto Express Kia. Weather is brought to you by Superstore Joe at Auto Express Kia. We're the ones we used to drive a Ford and now we drive a Kia. You can change too. Lease an all-wheel drive Kia Sorento for only $249 a month with zero down at Auto Express Superstore. I want to see ya in a Kia. Hi, my name's Brandon. I used to drive a Ford and now I drive a Kia. It's time for Crazy Nines. Buy a Kia Forte for $13,999 or lease for only $99. Bucks. $99 bucks a month. I want to see you in a Kia. From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Checking things out on our Skycam 4 this morning. We're at the Bayfront here. This is the HumesForCars.com Skycam, and uh, it is a muggy one, warm, but it is dry, uh, unlike yesterday, and we had some storms approaching the area. Uh, today, uh, no such luck to help cool you off. Uh, it's going to be warm and uh, humid for the day. And for the kids, yeah, shorts and T-shirts, definitely, but it's even muggy right now. Uh, temperatures are almost 80 degrees in Erie, even as we speak, uh, but it will be dry for the most part. Even the cool spots. Uh, some of you in the 60s out toward the eastern mountains. Now we're going to break 94 today. Uh, that's going to be rough for especially the little ones if you have outdoor recess. Uh, so uh, if you are outside, uh, make sure the kids are well hydrated. Today is especially 
The younger ones will be especially vulnerable to dehydration if they're running around outside in uh, temperatures that will be well into the 80s, even for morning recess. So, but we're not expecting any rainfall here. It's right now 72 at French Creek, 76 here in Summit. Downtown area at 78. The borough temperature holding at 73. Uh, Larry and Lake City, Kim and Mill Creek both at 77. Yeah, Mike uh, had uh, the wrong <laughs> sensor temperature on, so thank you. It wasn't 79. 71 degrees. It's still warm there in Sager Town. West Mead 73, Bill and Connie Lake 72, Nina 70 in Linesville. We do have some 60s out toward Saybrook and Canadota Lake. And uh, dew points right now into uh, the lower 70s. We have a lot of moisture again in the air. But this high pressure ridge, too strong for any kind of precipitation for the most part. Maybe an isolated storm here and there. Record high in Erie 93. We'll get around that for today. Frontal system will approach tomorrow. It is expected to slide through the area mid-afternoon tomorrow. That'll lead to some showers and storms. Out in the lake winds southwest 5 to 15 knots. Even with that wind direction, lake churned up today 1 to 3 feet for now, 2 to 4 feet for the afternoon water temp at 74. Hazy sunshine, hot, humid temperatures near 93. That is the record high for the day. That was set back in 1926. When Belmondo was in third grade. No, just kidding. Uh, we're looking at uh, temperatures in the mid 80s on Wednesday. He was actually in fourth. Uh, showers and storms for Wednesday afternoon. Chance of morning showers on Thursday, much cooler, back in the lower to mid 80s as we head on toward the upcoming weekend. Poor Dave, I know he's not here to defend himself. Do you think he's watching us? Oh, I don't... absolutely. You think he's he is? seething. I think he's driving to the station right now to <laughs> kick my butt. Uh, so, um, but that's fine. No, he's probably sleeping. He's probably sleeping. He's probably He'll never sleeping. even know that we talk yeah, about it. It doesn't matter. It's fun, to, it's fun to joke about Dave when he's not here. It is. It he's is. a good guy. Time now for the trivia question. We are quizzing Tom. Mm -hmm. Ready for your big question? There All you right. Go. Our producer Ryan came up with this one. In Gene Roddenberry's original pitch for Star Trek, what was the name of the starship? A, Reliant, B, Enterprise, C, Plymouth, or D, Yorktown? This is a tough one. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know the answer. Uh, is this a trick question? Is it, did he still keep the Enterprise? I know the Reliant, I don't believe it's that. That was another, that was on another Star Trek show. I'm gonna go with Plymouth. All right, let's see. Let's no, see you're what, wrong. Uh, it's Yorktown. Oh, the Yorktown, okay. I knew it wasn't the first two. Uh, I had it down to those two. Uh, I guessed wrong. So, uh, of course, Gene would pick a Revolutionary War. Uh, <laughs> I just picked the wrong one. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> so, uh, but hey, there it is, Yorktown. There it goes. Obviously, he changed it. Or maybe he did a World War II thing. Maybe, you know, because we had the Yorktown and the Enterprise at Pearl Harbor. So. I don't know. Who knows? I, I'm, I'm not sorry. A Star Wars Midway. Person, but... Midway, not Pearl Harbor. Hmm. Maybe that was it. Better luck tomorrow we'll try. on that mm -hmm. one. Now, selfies are everywhere. Who doesn't love a good picture of themselves? But is technology messing with our perception of what we look like? Kim Hutchinson explores the harmful effects of photo filters with a look at your health. <coughs> Seems like everyone from your sister to your grandmother is trying to up their selfie game. Lots of times, this means getting a little help from a filter. From Instagram to Snapchat, even apps made just to beautify you, there's no shortage of Photoshop features at your fingertips. But constantly changing your photos to show a slightly better version of yourself can have a psychological impact. It's being called Snapchat dysmorphia, and some say it can lead to body dysmorphic disorder, which is an excessive preoccupation with perceived flaws in our appearance. A recent article in the JAMA Facial Plastic Surgery Journal says more and more doctors report patients are bringing altered photos into their offices and looking for permanent surgical options to improve their selfies. Of course, people with true cases of body dysmorphia will likely never be satisfied with their outward appearance. For those patients, seeking out psychological help is a better option than going under the knife. For today's Health Minute, I'm Kim Hutchison. That's pretty interesting. Interesting okay. indeed. I guess I'll take all the filters off mine. <laughs> yeah, oh, I take on. so many selfies. Uh, time right now is at 5:49. <laughs> hey, sports-wise, Erie Seawolves are winding down the season. Craig Smiley takes us to the diamond. Also coming up on Good Morning Erie, it's official. There's a new song of the summer. We'll get that one stuck in your head. I promise. As coverage continues for Erie, Hydetown, Chandler's Valley, and the entire region.
you're witnessing something very special. A medley of exhilaration, joy, and satisfaction experienced only at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. Getting a deal on the Honda CRV with a standard rear view camera is as delightful as it looks. But don't just witness this, my friends. Experience these great deals for yourself. <laughs> Exciting, I know. <laughs> Visit your local Honda dealer and test drive the Honda CRV, Motor Trends 2018 SUV of the Year. Children's educational programming reports for WJET are available at FCC.gov. A link to the online public file can be found on YourEerie.com. So you guys have recently started dating? Yes. yes. Cool. I want to show you guys three Chevy SUVs. The first one is called the Trax. Great for when you move in together. Uh. And this is the Chevy Equinox. Perfect for when you two have your first kid. <laughs> Give me some time. Okay. This is the Traverse for when you have your five kids, two dogs, and one cat. <laughs> Whoa. Current qualified competitive lessees can get a 2018 Chevy Trax for around $169 a month or get $1750 cash allowance on Chevy Trax models when you purchase. See your Northwest PA Chevy dealers. We got some new blood than some pushing the expiration date. Gotta work twice as fast, three times as hard. Because you're old as hell. Nathan Fillion is The Rookie. Premieres Tuesday, October 16th on ABC. Just when you thought the great New York State Fair couldn't get any greater, we're back again with even greater thrills. Great big animals, live concerts from the greatest bands, and tons of great food. And this year, we've added the brand new Expo Center with great attractions like free public ice skating with admission. Don't miss out on all the great fun from August 22nd to September 3rd in Syracuse, New York. Get your tickets to the great New York State Fair at iloveny.com. From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Looking at the Humes for Cars.com Skycam, this is right on the Bay Frontier, and uh, we have much more tranquil conditions this morning compared to the heavy storms that were moving through from yesterday, at least for some of you. And uh, that means uh, good news is, you don't have to worry about rainfall, but it doesn't mean that we're done with the humidity. It is a muggy one out there for this morning. Most of you in the lower to mid 70s along the lakeshore, upper 70s. We have some 60s off toward uh, the eastern mountains there in Warren County. But the bottom line, it is warm, humid, shorts and t-shirt weather. And when the kids go home in the afternoon, uh, excessively hot uh, temperatures, even from morning recess, will be well into the upper 80s. Afternoon recess could see you at 90 plus. So uh, definitely want to take it slow. If you do have outdoor recess, teachers, make sure the kids are well hydrated for today. Temperatures right now, 77 in Mill Creek, Penn State, Barron 77. Uh, Becky's 72 at French Creek. We have 73 out toward Albion, uh, farther inland. Linesville at 70. Westmead, Ed at uh, 73. 69 at Canadota Lake. Uh, 70 out toward Chandler's Valley. And 65 out in Saybrook. Now, dew points are up there once again, the lower 70s, but we have no trigger to set them off for the day. In fact, we have a strong high pressure ridge. Uh, that high pressure will. Uh, pretty much suppress any kind of storms uh, for the most part today. An isolated one may pop up here and there like yesterday afternoon, uh, but the threat pretty small. Record high in Erie, 93. We could get close to that or possibly break it for today. So take it slow. Uh, weak stationary front's going to slide to the south and east, and uh, that front uh, will set off some afternoon showers and storms. Some really good downpours with some of those storms tomorrow. On the lake today, though, winds will be southwest 5 to 15. Uh, rather choppy for the relatively light winds. 1 to 3 feet for today, 2 to 4 feet for the afternoon. Hazy, hot, and humid today. High temperatures into the upper 80s to the lower 90s. And from your weather authority, some uh, afternoon showers and storms will develop tomorrow. Still pretty warm and humid. Lead to some cooler and Generally drier weather for Thursday into Friday with some leftover morning showers on Thursday. Back to warm air, though, for the upcoming Labor Day weekend. Updates of that forecast can be found anytime. Check out our website, yourerie.com. Thank you, Tom. And today in entertainment news, Aretha Franklin's music is climbing the charts. And Drake's In My Feelings is the song of the summer. Spotify says the popular track from the Canadian rapper tops its U.S. and global summer list with more than 393 million streams between June 1st and August 20th. 
Aretha Franklin just scored her biggest chart hit in 50 years. Her album, 30 Greatest Hits, is now number six on the Billboard 200 album chart. Her highest slot on the chart since 1968 when the album Aretha now hit number three. This marks her seventh top ten album on the chart. She went as high as number two twice, but never had a number one album. Aretha Franklin will be laid to rest Friday in Detroit. The big That's From Disneyland auction in Los Angeles had Disney fans singing and reaching for their checkbooks. This animatronic bird sold for $425,000, and the Dumbo vehicle went for $483,000. There it is, an original Haunted Mansion stretching portrait brought in about 402,000 and this Skyway bucket car sold for $621,000 a record for a Disneyland ride vehicle and all Richard Crafts collection brought in more than 8.3 million dollars part of the proceeds will go to groups that help children with special needs now, Jet 24's Craig Smiley with sports. Hey, good morning. Let's talk sports. The Otters will play their first of five exhibition games Friday night at the Harbor Center in Buffalo against Windsor. Prior to last night's inter-squad scrimmage, the organization released 22 of the 60 players in camp. The list includes 11 former draft picks, 11 free agents, one of whom is Meadville star Nick France. As for some of the new faces to watch, defenseman Jamie Drysdale, who the Otters selected with a fourth overall pick in the OHL draft as well as Czech born forward and first round import draft pick Peter Chaika. OHL is a great league. Um, you know, just just uh, if you look look at the names that uh, have been through this uh, locker room, like Connor McDavid, Dylan Strome, Ryan O'Reilly. Um, yeah, I want to get to the next level like them, and I think Erie can help me to do so. I just try not to really think about it. Just uh, kind of just push it aside a bit, almost. Just try and do my thing, have fun out there, uh, work work as hard as I can. So when I do that, uh, get things. Happen. As for the scrimmage itself, the white team beat the blue 5 to 2. Newly acquired forward Daniel Singer was the game's high scorer with a hat trick. Final road series of the season for the Sea Wolves. Christian Binford taking the hill in Harrisburg. First inning, Carter Keyboom with the RBI double to center. Senators out to a 1 0 lead. In the second, Austin Davidson takes Binford deep to right and gone ninth of the year. It was 2 0. Wolves would get one back in the third. And then in the fifth, no one then. Two run single to right by Danny Woodrow makes it 3 2 Erie. But Harrisburg goes back on top of the sixth off. Trent Skutnik, Taylor Gashu with the double. Paz Troy Montgomery sends would add one more. They win the opener by a five. Five to three final. They're back at it tonight at 6:30. I'm out. Have a great sports Tuesday. Time now is about 5:58. Still ahead on Good Morning Area. Look at today's top local stories, and we'll go live to Super Suppers to see what's cooking. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning, Elena. Well, we are going to be making this so easy dessert, so patriotic and perfect for the upcoming Labor Day holiday. change to lease an all-wheel drive Kia Sorento for only $249 a month with zero down at Auto Express Superstore. I want to see you in a Kia. My father passed his truck down to me. That's the same thing I want to do with you. It's an emotional thing to watch a child grow up and especially get behind the wheel. I want to keep, you know, stacking up the memories and the miles and the years. He's going to get mine, but I'm going to get oh, a new one. When it's time for your old Chevy truck to become their new Chevy truck, there's great deals from Chevy. Get 10 or 14 percent below MSRP on 2018 Silverado pickups when you finance with GM Financial. Or current qualified GM lessees can lease this Silverado All-Star for around $249 a month. See your Northwest PA Chevy dealers. It's clean. It's a goal! Oh. The moment you realize stains are no match for Susan the Striker. At Lowe's, you'll find the perfect washing machine, like this Maytag washer with Power Wash Cycle. Its extra agitator action helps you tackle tough, everyday stains. Victory over stains has a starting point. Start with Lowe's. Shop Lowe's and save $600 on a Maytag washer and dryer pair. Hi, my name's Brandon. I used to drive a Ford, and now I drive a Kia. It's time for Crazy Nines. Buy a Kia Forte for $13,999 or lease for only $99. Bucks. $99 bucks a month. I want to see you in a Kia.
We got some new blood in some pushing the expiration date. Gotta work twice as fast, three times as hard. 